The, the VAR should, should have just said, I, I can't see anything here. I can't. Look, it was absolutely... How do we get rid of it, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> the horse is bolted, Jeff. It's here to stay. No, wh but, why? Uh, <laughs> why is it here to stay? Why don't the authorities have the but, bottle to say, look, this was a good idea, we thought it was, but actually, it's useless, it's hopeless, it's garbage, let's take it back. <laughs> No, I, th I think there, is, there has been some positives with it, but the likes of ah! that, you know, for me, there's got to be clear daylight. There's got to be clear daylight, um, you know, between it. And I know the Aston Wenger, um, he's proposed something as well that, we, you know, that, that FIFA and UEFA are looking into maybe trying to introduce. And I think that's the way it should be. We want to see goals. That is a goal. I mean, let's be realistic. If that was the case and that was Clinton, he would be offside every single week with the size of those guns. Yeah, you, you know, know I mean? it as well, Geese. Yeah, those yeah. big arms. You know, mate. <laughs> mm. um, it, it, look, it's just killing the game. I know so many yeah. football fans yeah. now who are so disillusioned. And they all prefer... Football in the EFL because there is no <laughs> VAR. <laughs> Mind you, at Borehamwood in the National League <laughs> on Monday, I wish there'd been VAR for a late penalty shout. I really, really do. <laughs>